Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chine. So I found the first episode of the Tia Mori uh, reality TV show, right? And um, I'm glad I watched it because I had formed an opinion just on the previews. But this is going to be real quick. I think maybe a minute. Tia is the example of what I would not want any young girl graduating college getting out there doing right now she never dated anybody she was not allowed to date until she was 18 then she met her husband she lost her virginity at 25 and they got married that is crazy and the only reason i say that that is crazy is because right now she has no idea of what she really wants she had Corey. He was her first everything. That's why it's so hard for her right now. Because she left a family, a twin, and she went on to become someone's wife with no substance. You know, now she's of course, she's a woman of substance, but life substance, if that makes sense. You know, and I'm sure Corey has some substance. Now she's trying to date, and um, I'm watching episode four. I can't find two and three, but in episode four, she actually goes on a date. She is a goofy chick, right? So I, I don't do well with goofy, but I think she's beautiful. Of course, she's smart, but this dude, Charles, that she's going on a date with, like when he was calling her on the phone and she was laying in the bed and like she's 16, I love that. Now, that's sweet. That's cute. And I'm happy for her to have that because she's never had that feeling, you know? That's why it's so important to date so you know exactly what you want and what you don't want. Because when Essence, when her friends were there, um, Essence says, you, you should not have to act in your marriage or in your relationship or in your home or something like that and i agree with her like she's an actress but now she was with corey and acting like she was in a happy marriage so what she misses is the the fullness of a family like in the home the noise the sounds and things like that she's not okay with being by herself because she never has been now, as far as her sister goes, she got a cousin over here on the show. So, I don't know why she doesn't have her sister on the show. But that's a whole other situation because she's not ready to tell us about that. So, I'm going to leave that alone, child. That's family. So, I'll sum it up with this, right? I'm rooting for Tia. And it's never too late to find the love that you want. Like, you have to be real honest with yourself of what you want and what you don't want. And then if you're scared... You need to just figure out how to take that leap. Ooh, I think that got a little personal. Ooh. Now, in episode four, she had this, um, she had her mammogram. So she had a little scare because they called her in to do a biopsy. And, you know, she was stressed about that because she said she wanted to be there for her children. And her family has um, a history of cancer. So she got a call while she was with her cousin and her daughter in the kitchen, and she said she was clear. This is when you will want your sister there. Right? Let me get out of the people business. The date with Charles was really good. Um, he asked for a kiss. She kissed him on the cheek, and she had a really good conversation. And she's getting to know what is making her smile so i like that part but you know like she hasn't had these experiences so i'm happy for her to have those experiences because we've all most of us has, have had our heart broken we had someone to fix it um then someone maybe have cracked it and somebody glued it back together she's just gotten hers broken so far but let me know what you think about this because i think this is a really good show so i'll Tune in when I can and bring it to you when I watch it. Are you watching it? Let me know how you feel about it. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I'll talk to you later. Bye.